The number and type of B-segment cars available on the market continue to evolve. From the Corsa to the Clio, there's plenty of choice. Over the past few years, we have seen the start of a sort of premium B-segment, made up of the likes of Mini, as well as the Mini MPVs like Renault's Modus or Vauxhall Opel's Meriva. And then there's the Mini SUVs, like the Kia Soul or the brand new urban cruiser from Toyota. The world's biggest car manufacturer unveiled this new model at the Geneva Motor Show last year. And it was a real hit with the public with its pretty but rugged appearance. The Urban Cruiser has plenty of features, the versatility of an MPV, the compact styling of a city car and the green credentials of, well, a green car. All that combined with seductive styling. As an off-roader, it gets four-wheel drive, but only with the diesel versions. The main aim of having four-wheel drive being safety rather than to go exploring. The design of this car features the new family style from Toyota that can already be found on the Avensis and IQ. With its slightly raised stance, the Urban Cruiser styling is reassuring, with its distinctive wings and relatively high belt line. Athletic looking, it has everything you would expect from a Mini off-roader. And Mini is the right term, as it measures less than four metres in length. Despite that, it comfortably seats five. And if you want to make it look even more like an SUV, you can add a kit that colours all of the lower panels black. What's more, despite the relatively compact shape, Toyota has managed to achieve a drag coefficient of just 0.315, which is sure to reap rewards when it comes to noise levels and fuel consumption. Safety has not been forgotten either. You get seven airbags as standard and all the usual active safety features. ABS, brakes distribution, emergency brake assist, stability control. Inside, the dash is original in design, but is dominated by hard plastic. It's not exactly flattering, even if it's put together well enough. There are just two trim levels, life and lounge. Both come with Bluetooth, MP3 CD and aircon as standard. Satnav is an option. There are two engines, a 1.4 diesel and a 101 HP 1.3 litre petrol, which is what our test model is fitted with. It has a six-speed gearbox and should give fuel consumption of about five and a half litres per kilometre. It comes with stop-start technology as standard. Even though the Urban Cruiser only weighs 1,120 kilos, the little 1.3 lacks punch at low revs. But you can get a reasonable response if you play with the gearbox. Despite this, the petrol engine acquits itself quite well around town. As for the Urban Cruiser's handling on the road, just don't expect it to be too sporty. That's not what it's designed to do. It handles body roll quite well, except for chronic understeer when flat out. The suspension is firm though and comfortable, and the steering is precise, and a good driving position is easy to find. Overall, the Urban Cruiser achieves what it's designed to do. It's a small SUV that's more than happy living in town.